Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Head shape day today, as you can see, I have got shit tons of head growth, probably 15 days, 16 days, it might even be more than that, I'm not 100% sure. However, this will be a versus contest between the Omni Shaver and the head blade. So what I've done, because I've got so much hair, as I've popped on a good dollop of Furbo pre-shave gel, which is really good stuff. Massive bottle as well, it'll last a long time. It does seem to help quite a bit. Obviously I'm expecting a little bit of irritation, a little bit of pain today, but let's just see how we go. I'm gonna be taking down, what I'm basically gonna do is use this razor here, which is the Above the Tie R1 Calypso, solid aluminium. Beautiful razors, they really are. These are stunning razors, as you can see under here. Let me make sure I've got that the right way up. Made in the USA, and then we've got over here above the tie, ALR, just on that side there. Absolutely stunning razor. Shaves really, really nicely, especially for head shaves. But let's get stuck in. I'm going to be using Clim Shave Gel, which is just a really, really slick product. There's not much in the way of actual protection, but it is super slick and it really gives both these razors a level playing field for the actual shave itself. So, good dollop of that. Let me just rub that all over. And then all I do is just add a little bit of water as I go. So just dip both palms in the water like so, and just add a little bit of water into it. Now, I may have to apply a little bit more water. This is actually lathering up. <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting that. I've put too much gel on, I think. It's literally lathering, which isn't a bad thing. It gives me a little bit more protection. You just want to make sure you get enough moisture in. So as you can see, it's not lathering like a like a cream or a, or a soap. But it's definitely lathering a little bit to see it's a gel. I'm actually looking forward to this. It's been a long time coming. I'm sure you guys that watch the head shaves have been getting fed up of watching this growth happen. <laughs> so like I said, very, very slick. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, basically, using the above the tie razor, I'm going to take a line right down the middle of my head and down the back, and then I'm going to shave the left side with the Omni Shaver, and I'm going to shave the right side with the head blade and just see how I go. So I'm just going to go, oh, go with the green then against because it's quite long. Believe it or not, this blade that's in this razor has been in it for absolutely ages. Right, I think that'll do it. I don't think I need any more off than that. I would touch everything else up, obviously, with the razors as I go. So we'll start off today with the head blade. Now, the head blade I'm going to use is the plastic one. This is the sort of readily available. You can get it from a lot of shops, a lot of stores. They sell it in Shaver Shop over here in Australia. You can get it from shave.com.au as well if you want to get it online. And they are probably the cheapest bet as well. You'll get them cheaper there. And the cartridges themselves are pretty cheap on shave.com.au as well. So basically, pivots that way. It pivots that way and it just rolls along your head. So let's get stuck in. So I'm just going to get stuck in straight against the grain and just see how it feels. This is a cold water shave, so let's just see what how the, the head blade holds up to so much growth. Right, I can already tell you that's clogged straight away. So if we have a look real close up, you'll see that that's just chock fog full of hair. So let's see how it rinses out. So, as you can see there, not completely clean. And it's clogged up again. Now it is, look, there's no doubt about it, the head blade is a super comfortable to use. Very, 
very nice shaver. This really highlights the weakness, and this is a weakness of the head blade razor in my opinion. Let me see if I do it like, like I would use the motor. Let me see if it works. Um, look, it's all right, actually it doesn't doesn't work quite as well as the, as the Omni shaver, but that seems to work a little bit. Yeah, this is just clogged up instantly, like real bad. Now I am going to persevere with this, I'm not going to change it. This is really a test of why I believe personally that the Omni shaver is a better head shaving tool. Oh, why am I so much water all over me? I mean, this is... Now, the other thing that I'm not a fan of, not so much with the HB4 or HB6 cartridges, which is the four and six blade cartridges on the head blade, is that with the three blade, if you look at the back of it, there is absolutely zero flow through. I cannot rinse through the back to get the hair out. So when it gets clogged up, it's really clogged up. So this is actually, I've got a shit ton of hair and I can't get rid of it. It's gonna take forever this head, shave, this head shave. But I just wanted to really highlight why in my opinion, the Omni Shaver is the best head shaver on the market at the moment. Cartridge wise, that is. That certainly does work, you know, using that backwards and forwards like that. Yeah, it's just chock a block clogged. Instant clogged. Like that's like two strokes and it's clogged up. So what I'm doing right now, basically, is shaving with a clogged razor. I can feel it's just, it's taking an eternity to chew through the hair. So is it shaving? Yes. Is it shaving well? But I can tell you now that no matter how I shave with the head blades and how long this takes, I will get a BBS head shave. And yes, it will be a good quality head shave. But in terms of how long it's taking, I could be here for quite a while. There's still a lot of hair on the back of my head right now. It's taken a long time to chew through it. I 
find myself having to literally go like that and assist in removing the hair from the razor. It's getting there, it's getting there slowly but surely. I'll just show you from the back what it looks like. I've literally got to keep buffing over and over and over, same areas. And yes, look, it's chopping the hair off. It's comfortable, there's no, it doesn't feel like I'm getting irritation, it doesn't feel at any point like it's I'm going to get cut or anything like that. So I'm going to take this side of my head to BBS. Actually, do you know what? I don't think I am. I don't think the razor can actually get me BBS. I think there's so much hair clogged in this razor that I can't actually shave it any closer. So that... It's a bit of a, a shock, really. I can't... It's not shaving any closer than, like, a damn thing shave. I can't get it close to my skin. So that's pretty much the extent of what I can do with the head blade. Now wait till you see this, holy shit. Look at the blades. Look at how the blades are bent. Because they're so clogged full of hair. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to remove this cartridge and chuck it in the bin and then I'm going to pop a new cartridge on and just see if I can get, a, get the BBS that I should be able to get using the head blade so I'll pop a new cartridge on now brand new cartridge as you can see lovely and clear and let's just fill the sink up again because I can most likely Use it like I should now, and here we go. It's certainly more manoeuvrable, the, the head blade. I can get everywhere with the head blade. Whereas with the Omni Shaver, I can't. I just cannot get everywhere with the Omni Shaver. I can't get behind my ears. The head blade feels more comfortable in the hand. It's more intuitive to use, really. So it definitely has its pros and cons, both of them. Practically BBS now, just give me a second, I should be there. But certainly a hell of a good showing for the shave gel, how slick it is. Right, BDS head shave with the head blade, two cartridges. Don't get me wrong, that's a lot of growth to tackle. 
hell of a lot of growth. I'm just gonna wet my hand now and just add a little bit of moisture into the side. And then tackle it with the Omni Shaver. And then we'll have a look at the Omni Shaver now. So the Omni Shaver is a, a sort of new age head shaving tool. That is what it looks like in terms of the back. It says Omni Shaver across it. It's got arrows pointing up, arrows pointing down. And that basically shows the flow of the blades. There's a set of blades here that go this way and a set of blades at the top that go this way and you basically pull it backwards and forwards on your head. So here we go, the exact same amount of hair growth. Another cartridge style razor. Now this one does have two, four, five, so it's got 10 blades, two, five cartridge blades, two, five blade cartridges, sorry. And here we go. Now this is an extreme head shape really for a cartridge. You can't get any more extreme than this really. If that's not testament to how shit hot this fucking cartridge razor is, excuse us really, I do swear quite a lot anyway, then I don't know what else is. I can't highlight how good this shaver is any more than that. Seriously. I haven't rinsed it once. It hasn't touched the water in the sink. Now I'm going to show you something which for me still amazes me every time I use this razor. Look at that. I know that's disgusting, but that is, a, that is incredible. Now, if you've never watched this razor before, or you never watched my channel, this is the first time. Look at that. You cannot argue with that. Right, here is the razor. Yeah, absolutely covered in hair. Watch this. Quick rinse in the water. Flick it. Crystal clear. Seriously, look, you can see through every blade. If that is not testament to how good the Omni Shaver is. Ugh. Incredible. There's no trick photography here. This is, you have seen this razor chew through quite possibly between 15 and 20 days of hair growth. And take absolutely no prisoners. Now, one problem with it is you can't get behind ears. Simple fix is just use a DE razor. Like so. And then we'll just sort of finish off now. I'm just going to add just a little bit more clean because I think it's just been left on my head for too too long. Just to give it a little bit more slickness. Just going to get this sink out as well because it's cooler here. Just 
so I can get that final BBS that I'm looking for. And I'm going to finish this off with the Omni Shaver for obvious reasons. Now I like the head blade. I think the head blade is an amazing head shaving tool. Obviously more so when you've only got a couple of days growth. But the Omni Shaver is unparalleled, it's unrivaled on the market in my opinion for head shavers and what it does. Now there is another razor out of Germany at the moment, I can't remember what it's called. It's not the same, but similar sort of thing. It's a double-ended cartridge razor where the cartridges are actually split apart quite a way. Rinse it under the water, so I rinse it out of the tap. And I'm going to show you a razor which still feels like it did on that first use when I first used it, which is just knocked down a shit ton of growth and got me a BBS shave that looks absolutely brand new. There is nothing, um, there's not a hair on that, nothing at all. And any cap, any blade, nothing at all. It is absolutely this one, a little one just stuck in the side there, but what more can you ask for? Really? So you just give it a good rinse out, you basically blow through it, and you're done. Off. Finish off now with a dollop of Bart's Barn peppermint, which is a beautiful scent. Two squirts of that. So that was the head blade. Now I'm using the three blade cartridge, so it's a little bit, I mean you're talking ten blades versus three. Three blade cartridge, it's a beautiful shaver, it works really well on sort of minimum days growth. But I think today, I think it speaks for itself, but the Omni shaver, I think the shave spoke for itself how good it was. Absolutely blew the head blade away. Literally used hardly any water, I could have probably done that whole shave rinsing that razor once using a small amount of water and it had been done. So it's a great saver of water as well. It's just an efficient, it cleans itself, it strops itself, it stays sharper for longer. And I've got no, no blood anyway, on either side. So I think it's quite clear to see 
from the shave itself that the Omni Shaver just wins hands down. It beats the head blade hands down. It, it's probably not as comfortable to hold, but I mean, in the grander scheme of things, it just blows the head blade away in terms of efficiency, speed, comfort. It just does everything you want from a head shaving cartridge razor. It's obviously not a double edged razor, it's not as sort of traditional or anything, but it's a really well designed razor that works perfectly, I think, for what you want. It's a quick, efficient, comfortable BBS shaving razor that gives me no issues whatsoever, other than every now and then I cut myself with it. But I think this shave really highlights how good it is. So let me know your thoughts on it down below. If you've got any questions, comments, anything at all, and hit the like button or the dislike button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.